On October 29, 2023, I posted a video about the leaked sketches of the rumored Nike KD17 where I said that the shoe is right on schedule, it's just that a sketch was made public far too early in the timeline. Now instead of just sketches, we have actual photos of the upcoming Nike KD17 giving us a better look, so let's talk. Welcome back, this is Fresh Pair. smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. The Nike KD17 is a low top silhouette that many people say resembles the looks of the Nike Air Max Plus, although I think the shoe looks more like the 1999 Nike Air Flight Determination in terms of the thermoplastic veins, which are those curved pillars that hug the sides of the shoe. Between these veins or pillars are possibly foam panels which look chunky from a bottom to top view of the sides. For the base material of the upper, the KD17 uses what looks like open mesh with textile backing, at least for this colorway. However, in past KD models, the upper material has widely varied and this could also be the case with the Nike KD17. For the cushioning, there is no clear indication of a bottom-loaded zoom unit just by looking at the outsole. Therefore, it's possible that if the KD17 uses zoom either at the forefoot or heel, it's most likely top-loaded. If not, it's also possible for the shoe to use full air strobal for cushioning encased in the foam midsole. Speaking of the foam midsole, it's possible that the KD17 will use Cushlon just like in previous models, so we can expect this to provide a well-cushioned ride if the foam composition is more or less the same as in previous versions. For the outsole, the shoe will seem to have aggressive traction with the pattern resembling a pressure map with the midfoot as the focal point where most of the treads radiate from. Rubber compound used in this colorway is translucent, but the compound itself will most likely vary on the colorway. The treads are thick and widely spaced in between, which could reduce floor contact but at the same time decrease dust accumulation. There is what looks like a plastic piece at the center of the midfoot with the KD logo and I'm not sure what functionality it serves but it could reduce court grip at the midfoot unless it's a rubber piece instead of plastic. Based so far on the leaked photos of the actual shoe, the KD17 takes a lot of its looks from older Nike shoes which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just gives the impression that Nike is running out of ideas especially for a signature line that is already on its 17th iteration. Nevertheless, the shoe looks sleek when compared to the 15th and 16th which both have that bulky look at the toe box. But as far as performance goes, the only thing that piques my curiosity at this time are the shoe's thermoplastic veins. All the rest look like something that we know what to expect. In the meantime, let me know what you think about the upcoming Nike KD17. Post your thoughts in the comments section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.